Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. This show is just going to be two hours of discussion about Japan. We're going to cover yeah. noodles. We're going to cover... Um, Jerry got back yesterday. Yes. Yeah. We're, we're going to cover uh, ramen, but we're also going to cover sukumen, mm. which is just ramen with the soup over here and the noodles over here. Mm -hmm. uh, no, we're not going to do that. Um, I'll, I'll just continue to write angrily on the news post about it. But, yes, please. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it is my great pleasure to be back because I would not miss it. Um, I would say that this all feels quite surreal, uh, having like literally come back and flown all the way from... Uh, Korea. How are you still awake? I just, just to I don't make know. this show. No, no it is yeah. the reason I'm awake is because I wanted to give you guys your presence, but I also wanted to play this game, um, which I'm super, super excited about because I don't. I genuinely don't know what. I genuinely don't know what's next. I don't know if we're good. Neither more do Chagos. I. And we've already we've already destroyed <laughs> Chagos. Yeah. So we need to leave as soon as possible. I guess it, I, I assumed so that we can ruin Mackenzie afterward. Well, so on Chagos now, there a, a lot happened on this. <laughs> <laughs> and Good we're still Lord. there. And, and still things there. are still happening. I yeah. thought it was going to be a stop. I thought it was going to be like a like a chips and road beers and make it snappy type situation. Apparently not. No, no. We we have done everything we can to yeah. destabilize this this planet. Uh, Roshan has become a uh, mech warrior in his own right. Something of a it, it, he you is know? in the games now. He's he's yeah. being talked about in the, on the circuit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, he's the listen. He's the future. He's the future of the sport. Yeah, yeah. Big, big, big news coming up. Uh, Stavron has both established a merchandise opportunity uh, for Roshan. I've got multiple passive revenue streams. Yes. Yeah. He's also been inducted into the La Taba Nostra mm -hmm. and has been granted the opportunity to uh, franchise the tabs on other planets. Right. With a thirty percent um, mm -hmm. fee going back to mm -hmm. obviously uh, right back to to, to, to Prezio Fazerizzi, right? Yep. Uh, but then, uh, as you were celebrating your victory and uh, spending three of your cards uh, or chips, yes, uh, the plaques. Your uh, Nova, or the excuse me, the Pouncer was stolen along with some of uh, your the other and jumper and our and our jump drive. So yeah. they, maybe they just like things that have the word jump in them. Yeah. Possibly. And they'll, they'll take anything they want. If we had a yeah, shonen yeah. jump, for example, could have gotten it. Gone. That's um, a magazine from Japan. I just came back. Oh, this was gonna be, huh? No, no, I, I'm done. I, I I stopped right now, and you know that no, that's true. I, you I, are I, absolutely not done. No, you are totally happen. not done. Yeah, it's more time. Like, yeah, like, but yes, yeah, so they they basically we got rizobbed. Yeah. By, uh, uh, inside job. Yeah, basically yeah. an inside job, but also yeah, there, there's just an expect like on Chagos, they're just not worried about it. Like if if people rob off-worlders, it's like well I, it it, 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 it you know what it is? It's the gif. Of the, uh, it's the gift of the guy saying, "Oh no!" Anyway, like they don't, they don't actually give that much of a shit. Yeah. But it's uh, this was all an inside job. Yeah. Uh, from the tablet Nostra. No. Already in her family drama. Yes. 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 <laughs> because Stavrin was able to get the franchising rights ahead of Johannes Fuchs. Right. Exactly. Uh, he got a little. You know. He got a little zesty. Yeah. Um, but the new arrangement is that he is essentially working for me on this planet. And uh, Prezio was like, I would definitely have shot him for sure. Yeah. I would have done it that way. And I was like, you know what? Nothing bad ever happens to me. <laughs> um, I never actively use my plaques to make my life harder. <laughs> I know better than you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know better than you, uh, paragon of industry. Yeah. Um, that being said, the whole purpose of this game is just to leave you a crumb trail of delicious <laughs> treats to fuck us with later. Uh, yeah, it's great. Um, but anyway... I know better than you about organized crime. <laughs> <laughs> but but my, my thinking is ultimately, and, and I, I said as much in the last game, is that essentially like we are the destabilizing factor. Like we're, we're actually... We're too much to come here and interfere with this system. This is like Vision telling Iron Man that you're the real reason, like the whole world's gone to shit and yeah. all the, yeah. everybody comes in. I mean, in. Yeah. basically they already had yeah. an ecosystem here and we goosed it. So my feeling is that 
between um, the Karachi death steads. Mm -hmm. This over here. Yeah, Baal is still exactly for Roshan. This is what I'm saying, and mm -hmm. I think that ultimately we're creating like a. a a binary star situation mm -hmm. where these two, or maybe binary star, or maybe it's more of like a, a Tom and Jerry situation where these two will just chase each other around the world <laughs> and, you know, generate revenue for me ultimately. So I think it's a huge plus. Yeah. Um, and remember, you were also, um, there were two things uh, following you. You were directed by um, Representative Valmar Kral of the Federated Sons to right. make your way into Federated Sons territory. Yeah, they contacted us yeah. essentially, right? Yep. Um, you had given them the information about the invasion from the Combine that you stole um, at one, on one of your first missions. It's a mega callback, yeah. right? It's a mega callback. That's the one where, um, where, almost where got ZZ, yeah, shot. yeah, where ZZ had some trouble, but um, but not none of the bullets. I want to emphasize this for the future and the inevitable um, court case. Um, none of the bullets penetrated the Kevlar armor. I mean, this is the, you know, was, was a crew member shot several times? Is she essentially a daughter to me? Yes. Um, is it my fault? It never is. Um, <laughs> it's never been my fault, and that's the one thing you can count on with Saverin. Right. And you also had um, Etta Troon who you had been receiving? Uh, yes, Se uh, secret communiques. Yeah, uh, and and it, basically, I just have a bin in my email where mm -hmm. I'm just checking to. I'm waiting on some communique in the future, mm -hmm. and you know who knows. Hope springs eternal. Right, and also you found out that um, Burnout's uh, wife is still alive, and she's the one leading the invasion. Correct, correct. Yeah. Oh, I know. Just for some, a little bit of a refresher. This, a lot happens in this game, I guess. Mm -hmm. Robots. Sean's being hunted by people who Yes, yes, yes the by, the, trust by the cold trust. Oh, man. There's a lot. It's just a lot. This is like Game of Thrones, but with robots and licensing rights. <laughs> Yes. Less eating and sex. Yeah, yeah I was just going to say, but listen, I, I, I got these three plaques. I can put as much of those. Well, yeah. I can't put everything that I would want to in there. But if you want, like, grease to run down a woman's arm and get on her dress, I, mm -hmm. can, take this, I can take this into a GRR Martin sort of context. Um, it's it's yeah, not going to hurt do. numbers. Yeah. It's not going to hurt the traffic. Yeah. Apparently, that's something people like. Yeah, I mean, we're doing a, next next week, you spend three, and we're doing a hot tub stream or something like that. J.R.R. Holkin. Yeah. At any rate, HBO, we're ready. <laughs> yeah, we're ready. We, there's a licensing <laughs> opportunity here. Contact Stavron Otho at... Calypso.com. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you, our last episode finished uh, with you uh, defeating Fuchs That's and right. uh, his rogue traitor um, who narrowly got away, Xenon Vale. No, it was rough um, stuff. It was rough stuff for you, sure. You uh, gave over everything that we don't need yes, you, back you, to the Karachi Deathheads, which is good because uh, they lost some equipment. Yeah. On this one, yeah, it, it was a brutal fight. Yeah, but they, I mean, my the, my thinking after we had looked through everything is that between all of the mechs that they had, all mm -hmm. the equipment, is that everybody should be able to essentially get made whole off of that, which yeah. is good. Yeah, you have you have enough to you got enough uh, salvage to um, repair all of your yeah. all the mechs, which and is good because the rascal took it in the fucking pants. Yeah, my new my brand new mongrel. Yeah, well, also you just got your, the paint job. Your pouncer too. Yeah. So that we had, got to, it back. We, we had to shoot. Yes, we yeah. got it all. Thank you, Nolman. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, Ball was Ball was kind, and you yeah. know he's still actually a, like a bro for sure. Yeah. Well, he 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 kind of, he pretty much respects uh, Roshan at this point, so yeah. he's kind of taken the respect happens on that side. Yeah. Apparently, if you call him George R. R. Martin, we'll just enter chat. <laughs> yeah, he'll fucking materialize, I guess. Thanks, GRR. <laughs> You know what? It's like, listen, uh, I'm ready to contribute to that unique genre. Yeah. <laughs> Women and gravy. It's um, it's very 2023, and we're ready to get into the ground floor. Yeah. Um, all right. So we left off at the at the battlefield. Fuchs has is now running away um, because Ball gave you know. Yeah. Ball pointed you know his his pistol at him and said, "This isn't about." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pointed a pistol, and essentially, 
what Ball had to do. And it was, I thought this was a really cool scene from Kiki threw mm -hmm. a plaque in where basically it's like, this is like, there's way more going on here than you. It's like, but I hadn't intended to kill him. I was actually just hiring him uh, for cheap. Yeah. At the barrel of a, a ER PPC. <laughs> so yeah. it worked out okay. Yeah. So the floor is yours to do as you wish. It feels good. It feels great. Um, so I'm gonna. Uh, Her repair is done. Yeah, I was, I was just gonna say. I mean, Repairs I, yeah. aren't done yet. I, I, you're I you're on that, your way back from the jungle. I think okay. this is gonna be a light day. Because I thought we got back and then you talked to. It, I, I might have forgotten the that part. guy. Yeah, we got we got back and then that's how you talked. How uh, the situation with Fuse got worked out. Oh, with. sure, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, but I I still think there's a. We have to make all these robots work again. They're not doing <laughs> no, so we're good. We're not leaving Chagos for a bit. No, no, no. Uh, there's going to be some. There's going to be some stuff, and there'll be an opportunity for us to close out some of these accounts, which is good. Mm -hmm. But, but we're definitely going to come back in. And for now, now that we have resolved this issue, mm -hmm. I am going to. Uh, now that we're back on our pad, um, on the main strip, um, I am going to very carefully and gingerly. Return back to the Calypso's hold. Yeah, and, and as you do that, you, the, 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 yeah, yeah, the motherfucker just the yeah, the, the motherfucker wheels over. wheels over. This is like, what I'm worried like, about. It's eyeing you up and down. Yeah, and you're is, getting the signal on your on your oh, data yeah. slate. I can feel it. Yeah, I, I say yes. Uh, authorize this person. Hmm. All right, like, and you see it slowly, just kind of exactly. almost sadly, just points its yeah. oh, muzzle, yeah. muzzle yeah. down. Yeah, it's, right? it, it, essentially, it just becomes, it just, like, oh. hmm. um, but essentially, I'm just going to come in, I'm going to congratulate everybody, all the robots. I'm, I'm specifically talking to the robots yeah. right now. And, and they're all waving their little Absolutely. armatures up. Yep, like, yep, and it's high know. fives for everybody. Yeah. I'm, I'm, like, I'm lining them up, and yeah. I'm just going to go right down, like after the big game. Yeah. It's like, if, they, if this had happened in any other context, I'd be taking them all out for pizza. Yeah. But because they're robots, you're taking um, them out for batteries. So. Yeah, or bolts or whatever they like, washers. I don't know what they like. Um, but essentially, yeah, I'm just going to say, listen, everybody, great work. Um, obviously, you did it. And I'm going to say this, and I'm just going to direct their attention to the motherfucker. I'm going to say, this is yours. You can do whatever you want to with it. Um, I don't think, I think that and this... you see one just jump up and is just like riding it <laughs> yeah. and then just start shooting across or no, around the, no, the no, bed. That's, that's <laughs> not it. No, 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 stop. No, I mean, you can have these parts. You can have these parts. You can have all the, you can have this. I'm pointing at the, at the gun and I say, you, it's all for you. No, don't make yourself into these. Just, I, I want to, actually for now, don't do anything. I need to figure out exactly how I'm going to say this to you. Because if I come back and there's 20 of these fucking things, I, it's, it's going to be, like my pad is, I'm going to be like, yes, yes, yes. I won't be able to do anything else. I'll just be authorizing people yeah. all day. You'll be playing a free to play game. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And I'm not, but I'm not, I'm not going to get any premium currency. What does Burnout think about a, a sentry gun in his hold? <laughs> And you, 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 as as you say, as you say that, he's you could just see him up on the mezzanine chomping on his cigar, and he's like, "This is a dumb idea." Well, it was a it was a it was a temporary idea, and and here's what I'd like to ask you, Burnout. I mean, it's still here. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, temp. It's 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 temporary. Permanent, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. It, that's a great way of putting it. No, I, I, they're gonna give it. I'm gonna as soon as I can figure out how to communicate to them that they can have these parts without turning them, without turning all of them into demonic sentries, then they will be able to have these. And also for you, I want to make sure that you know that uh, I have told them not to kill you with it. So in a way, I'm the hero. Think about it like that. Hmm? And, I, and I'm gonna check the slate real quick to make sure that I've authorized it, and then I like I do a quick authorization. <laughs> yeah. See, as yeah. you see the yeah yeah, yeah the, the gun starts like, to move. Ha, ha. No, it's fine. That was a joke that I was making. Yeah. Um, you're good, and you're still alive, so I don't want to hear about it, old man. This is you're always doing shit like this. You want to try that one again? Uh, sorry. Um, I, I I'll try to create fewer. And he walks out. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Good. Well, you saved me a lot of time trying to explain it. Um, 
Yeah, so I, I'm gonna go down and I'm just gonna I'm gonna get a wrench or something, okay. and I'm gonna bring it over to the to the motherfucker, and I'm gonna be I'm gonna like hold the wrench in a very conspicuous way. Yeah, and you by see, the bolt, you see a, a, a gang of the bots just surround it and stick their armatures up at you. Oh. What? All right, God, do they worship it or something? I bet I bet that's what happened. I think that I allowed the. I, I think that this is like in the Old Testament when they made like that golden calf out of all their jewelry. Did you make a cargo coat. Yes, exactly. There's the, it's, no, it's, 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 it's a cargo coat in, in, in our cargo coat. It's the it's the it's the double thing. And, and I'm, I'm I'm just gonna say, all right, I'm gonna set the wrench down very gently. And then you see their armature slowly move down with the wrench. I say, all right, you. I, I can see that there's going to be a communication issue. Um, I don't. I don't want to waste anybody's time. I res honestly, I respect all of you what you've accomplished. Um, for now, you. For now, you can have this. You can leave this here. You can. You can do whatever you want to with it, and if that includes worshiping it like a god. This is. I'm gonna put my plaque in here. This is what they're doing. <laughs> okay. Okay. They are. They are undergoing a progressive state of revelation, <laughs> and they are manufacturing piece by piece a, uh, a deity uh, for them to enjoy. Okay. What could go wrong? What could go wrong here? <laughs> I gotta spend. I gotta invest. Um, uh, so I mean that that was all good. I'm gonna head up to the uh, cockpit and talk to uh, Burnout about the the ship. Um, okay. So I'm gonna trudge trudge up the thing. I mean I've been this has been a very busy day already. Okay. Um, and it's early. And as that happens, oh, what yeah. is from Sean doing? Uh, just uh, they had <laughs> first things first. The the Samira. jump drive is yeah. yeah. Needs some tinkering. Yeah. So uh, ZZ and Roshan are started. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And and um, Zigzag is actually handing you more and more tools. Oh, oh hang um, on a second. Is it is it happening? As the uh, is the is the respect it has 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 Roshan leveled up with ZZ? He's gotten more than a paintbrush. Yeah. So. Um, and, and she's looking at you, she's like, you think you can take care of this while I go repair the rest of Stavron's, uh, <laughs> fuck up? I'll do my best. I mean, the, the, this is gonna require a lot. Just a couple bolts here, a couple bolts there, get it into place, plug it in, right? You think you can get... uh, I guess it's just an install. It's not really a... Yeah, they a didn't, they didn't, they didn't dis dismantle, dismantle it. or anything. I think anything. they wanted yeah. to probably use it, so, I mean... I think you got this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> there's probably a fact online. I mean, <laughs> as Roshan is saying, like, uh, I'll do my best. And uh, as soon as he takes the tool and tries to apply it, what is the test to see if he's even capable of doing this? Um, you could make a <laughs> uh, intelligence chest, uh, test. Okay. Got a big two. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, it's so four <laughs> in this. It's four in this context. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> I see. I see. Your dice are continuing to be hot. Yeah. So you're coming in here with an 11, yeah, 12, no. 13, 14. Uh, <laughs> what do you got, Kiko? I got a nine. Got well, a nine. Hey, it's that's cool. that's lower. <laughs> um, so it says, <laughs> Roshan applies the tool, and immediately, like uh, fluid starts shooting out of it. <laughs> And you, you just see Zizi who's sipping on a, uh, uh, like a soda through a straw, mm -hmm. like one of the slushies. Yeah. Just <laughs> do a spit take. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, it was one bolt. <laughs> yeah, no, no stuff's shooting out. Sorry, sorry Zizi. And uh, he doesn't know how to fix it. And she literally takes a data slate and starts jamming on it mm -hmm. and throws it over to you. And it's basically a step-by-step -step procedure. Yeah, it's, oh, it's the actual <laughs> manual. Yeah. It's in like ten languages. Yeah. Uh, I'll get right. I'll, I'll get started right away. Uh, he picks up the data slate <laughs> off the ground because he can't catch anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And she said, "Good luck. Please don't make me do extra work later." 
<laughs> and she just starts walking away. And you see her going over to the pouncer and just shaking her head as oh. it's just the essentially the, the top part of the, the, the torso of this neck. I mean, it, it... Oh, it's just hanging a, there on uh, the... The pouncer didn't get destroyed, didn't get wrecked. It got damaged. It got damaged. It was, there was the, an injection. It was the... Um, it was uh, your uh, your new mech that got wrecked. The mongrel. Yeah, oh, the, yeah. mongrel, the, mongrel the mongrel's bad news. Wrecked, yeah. But for that guy, I was like, hey, yeah. get the fuck out of that. Yes. <laughs> for it's going to be your sarcophagus. Um, but the bay is full of just... Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 screwed up. Yeah, mechs. it's full of uh, fragmented partial mechs. I don't think Samira even took a hit. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Samira did, did the work. <laughs> yes. Well, you you basically hit out for the most part, mm -hmm. and um, the the Karachi has definitely earned their mm -hmm. keep um, in this particular battle. Mm -hmm. But then there was you had that fucking was that was that wasp that little <laughs> that little <laughs> wasp comes in and destroys his fucking dire wolf. <laughs> Yeah, it was, inc right it was incredible. Behind, no, yeah. but this is the thing. It's like I saw it coming, because he, he's the he 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 guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. I saw him run like over the entire board, and I was like, "We'll deal with that. Yeah. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna handle this in a second. No, it put the it put the kill shot on two max. He, yeah, he earned his keep. Mm -hmm. If he hadn't been annihilated, um, it would have been a really great day for him. Mm. I think. <sighs> Jesus. So. Uh, so I'm going to head up to, and so basically, as you indicated at the beginning, we essentially got the communicate. We got the communication from the Federated Sons. Yeah, um, they said when, once you enter Federated Sons territory, they would contact. They would know and contact you and uh, tell you what what they want, what recon they wanted you to do. Oh, okay. I mean, what I'm wondering is, so is Mackenzie even on the even on the menu anymore? It might not be. I, mean, I guess we don't need to do it. Like Chagos was it. If somebody is saying, "Hey, we've got work for you," I don't. We don't need to. I don't think we need to follow that particular the previous path at all. Which I think is really funny because the whole point of the whole thing was that Chagos was going to be like the stopover, yeah. and then Mackenzie was going to be the real place. <laughs> but I, I, the main reason I, th I think I wanted to go to Mackenzie was essentially to do mech shopping and get some upgrades. Well, you got a Mac. We, no, but I mean, we, we ended up <laughs> doing all that. We ended up doing all that stuff before, and we just, the the underworld suppliers on Chagos are surprisingly top tier. Yeah, when you talk nicely to them. Well, I mean, listen. Yeah, you get you get more flies with honey. This is what, <laughs> when, you, when you, this is what I've always said, and it's how I comport myself on this program. Yep. Kindness. Um, I, I pride myself on being able to sort of like see where another person is coming from. And that's why I've had such incredible success in business and life. But um, but essentially, I'm going to uh, I'm going to head up to there because we're talking about Federated Sons territory. Mm -hmm. We're now moving into burnouts, burnout and ZZ's mm -hmm. story. Mm -hmm. And so I, I definitely think that I need to have a conversation with burnout about what this next part is is going to mean. Yeah. Um, and I'm not looking forward to it, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. So you, you make your way up to the um, bridge, and as the, the bridge doors slide open, all you can hear is a resounding laughter of from Burnout, who's sitting in his, in his chair. Yeah. And he is just g cracking up. You've never heard this much excitement on his uh, coming out of him. YouTube cats. Yeah. He's just, just he, as, a, as a 60 year old man, he's discovered memes and he's never been happier. Um, so, so I mean, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll approach the bench. Yeah, he's like, Stafford, you're not gonna f believe this. Well, I mean, try me. And you look over and you see an incoming transmission uh, from Zill's Vengeance. Zill's Vengeance, oh God. <laughs> I know who this is. Oh Christ! I, 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 so is it a communicate like, like a like a communicates coming in now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you want you want to take accepted. this? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> who could that be? Wow, we love this yeah. Omega tier encryption. Yeah. Nice job, Hill. Hey, hey, hey Stabby, I, what's going on, man? No, listen, man. I I saved your ass. Yeah. And a big part of it 
And a big part of, you know, what we had discussed was maybe you laying low or, you know, maybe going a different direction with the naming. Yeah, I did. Z Zills. See, you knew who it was, but other people won't. Oh, God. Right? You uh, knew the people who know will need will if figure you it know, out. You know, you know. Okay. And see, um, I am a genius with this. See, you need to you need to listen for sirens is what you need to listen for because Zills. You know, the first thing I thought is it was a lot like Hills except for the Z. Yeah. But you that was my was, first that's thinking. That's what you were supposed to think. Oh, boy. Everybody else, not going to figure it out. So have you had anybody contact you for jobs? Yeah, I got one lined up, and I want you in. Okay. Uh, but is, is, the, is the job making a new good name for your mercenary organization? I think mine is Because I'm in. Yeah. Well, I mean, listen, it worked for you. It worked on you, right? You knew who was, who was calling. Okay. Yeah. All right. What do you What do you got? I mean, what do you What do you got going? Listen, because uh, we, we have we have a little window of time here, um, and we got some new equipment. I think you might be very impressed by. So, we'd love. Obviously, we'd love to have you in the uh, over at the Clipso for sure. Mm -hmm. Is Is this a job, or is this you're actively being hunted? By the people I tried to protect you from, no, and no, now no. you need help staying no. alive. Because that's not a job in the classic no. sense. No, no. Okay. No. I w listen, I, I'm all ears. All right. I'm willing to split this with you. I don't have a big enough crew yet. Listen, we've got hey. we've gotten back on our feet. Yeah, yeah. New name. That, yeah, obviously, new name, new me. Yeah. Um, so say me, <laughs> I guess. But I need I need more firepower. I got that. All this is is we need to make sure we got to get to uh, uh, Ellsworth, mm -hmm. and there's a an airstrip on the, in the lower quadrant of this planet. Yeah. We need to defend it while and get at least a couple ships off the ground. We know it's getting attacked. Don't know by who. Oh, and and basically what they've the pure what, defense defense job. What, what they have hired you to do is essentially their final. Yeah. The final lift. Yeah. And that's it. In and out. Well, and it listen. sounds like a real milk run, Zill. Yeah. All I'm saying, I'll give you seven mil. Seven million what? Do you have this? You have this kind of money? I don't understand this. No, I'm, saying, I'm getting this. I'm giving you half the job. It's 14 mil. Let me see I'm the giving con you let, seven. Let me see the contract. I'm sorry. That's 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 gonna that's gonna be part of doing business with me. Let me see the official real contract. Yeah, and he'll he'll actually send it over. Okay, I'll open it up. What's the total pay? Fourteen mil. He's actually not lying to you. Really? Yeah. All right. Well, I don't know how it happened, uh, Zill, but it seems no, like it's just Rufus, man. Zill's God. Don't you know you don't get that <laughs> too loud. Oh, you're right. God, you know what? I I want to blow your cover. Yeah. Um, Obviously. Yeah. Uh, and so, I mean, did he leave anything out of the job real quick? This Actually, is, no. I'm just, I'm just pulling it down. I'm like, is there anything? It's just like, watch out. This place is, the whole planet's actually a big snake. And, uh, eats mechs. And Burnout kind of looks over your shoulder. Yeah, at, this, is what, this at, is what I want. At this, and he's like. And it's like, I'm pointing at it like, mm. Listen, I told you, he, he'll have your back and he'll do good by you. Just make sure he doesn't shoot you on accident. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. Oh, God, don't even. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll say yeah, I, I get seven, uh, seven million, and um, I'm like, you gotta, you gotta cut me in on a salvage share for sure. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna need that stuff just to, just yeah, to clean could, up after you can the get job. Half the salvage. All right. I'm fine with that. All right, but and, and then, I, I say, hang on, I say, I need to check something, and I'm just gonna go around like to the front of the screen and say yes, <laughs> and then I'm gonna come back around and say, all right, um, I'm back. I had to handle something. I'm as like, you went around to I'm the front of the screen. Yeah. Um, you see blinking uh, that private channel. Mm. I say, well, Rufus, uh, obviously it's been a pleasure. Uh, we're gonna la we're gonna lay these coordinates in, uh, and I'm, I'm gonna indicate them on the on the sheet. And I look over at Burnout. Like, is this is that good? Can we do that? Uh, it is. It actually. Ellsworth is closer to Sun's territory, so oh, perfect. All right, we well, could. This, this is convenience itself. I say, yeah, then then absolutely. We could probably be there in about seven, eight days, maybe. Okay, and I'm like, Rufus, seven, eight days. Is there going to be an airstrip left? <laughs> yeah, we should be. Hopefully, you get here in time. Okay. Is Rufus Zill going to be your first tab signing? 
Yeah, I was just gonna say. Well, because because we we need we need arrangements that exist at a, a bunch of different levels. Like, because it, it can't all just be Karachi tier, right? You have to have those like you have to have rares, but you also have to have commons. commons. You know what I mean? You gotta have those gray drops. Poor Rufus. Poor, yeah, poor Rufus Zill. But the, you know, the best part about this signing is that we're really getting two mercenary companies for one. One signature, but you know, it kind of forks there. And obviously we'll be able to duplicate that pretty easy, I think. Um, that's great, it's huge time savings for us. So um, I, say, I say, yeah, uh, set your watch. Uh, we'll be there as soon as uh, as soon as we get our jump drive back installed in the ship, it's it's been a Chagos is crazy, man. You got to come, but it doesn't sound like it. Well, Listen, it, I'm <laughs> a smart guy. I'm already <laughs> off planet. I'm doing fine. You're you don't even have a, an engine well, for your well, ship. I have it. It's just not installed right now, which it was is installed before. Like, well, yeah. Listen, I'll tell you about it when I get there. It's it's you won't you you won't believe it. It's crazy. It's crazy pants. It's crazy pants. Long story short, uh, everything's coming up Saverin. Um, but you know what? I still got time for the people. I still remember. I still remember the little guys. That's something that I pride myself on. So we'll be there seven, eight days. Sure. All right. All right. I'll see you. Boop. And I say, and I, I performatively yawn. <sighs> Man, I, I, I'm tired. I got to go to bed. <laughs> All <Yeah>. right. <laughs> and then I, I, I come out, and then as I'm walking out of the sliding doors, I, I sort of pause in between, like, <laughs> Oh man, I'm tuckered out. And you just see burnout. Oh, yeah, <laughs> looking at you. I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted. Yeah. Okay, I get it. You, you've had a big day. Yeah. Oh man, I'm tuckered out. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna head back to my room. Look out in the hallway furtively. Uh, seal and lock the door. Sit down. Hit the button. And pull up the uh, the unique special communique mm -hmm. uh, that I that I saw blinking and have been very excited to discover. So um, you it just reads Eta Troon with the Delta and the V next to her yeah, name. Yeah, exactly. And then it says uh, Planet Atsugi, City Koga, fifty percent destruction. City will be defended. Payment four million C bills. Ah, so this is this is the other. This is the side job, and then um, there is uh, the that vanishes, and then a red communication that is coded comes up. Okay, I'm, I'm going to grab a quick shot of it. I'm going to show this to the bots for sure. Okay. Uh, uh, theoretically, if they ha if they can take a break from worshiping the demon god they've made, <laughs> hopefully they can help me with my homework. Um, so this is Atsugi. This is Koga. Is the city, and then mm -hmm. essentially they want us to dis they want us to like raise a city mm -hmm. for four mil, and it'll be defended. That's that. These numbers are not good. I hope I, I hope they will uh, fifty percent destroyed. Yeah, yeah. What a weird message. What a weird message. I'm, I'm gonna pull up um, the planet Atsugi mm -hmm. and just do some quick investigations here. Let me let me look up Koga. What type of town is it? Why do they need it blown up so bad? Um, it this is a mining town. Um, okay, well, and, some resources, the classic, and basically a power supply to the uh, rest of the planet. Okay, does this planet itself have any formal allegiance to a house? No. Okay, so it's, just, it's still in the free world I league see. territory. So, some, so. This, this is just some local warlord shit. But I don't see anything in particular here about. Uh, so the town itself is like miners, like working people, mm -hmm. and uh, manufacturing. What are their primary outputs? Uh, resources to the planet, and no. Uh, oh, oh, I was going to say, know. Uh, um, uh, you know, Twinkies. Yeah, twi yeah, no. Uh, it'll be munitions, um, anything okay. that that they can uh, produce uh, and sell as trade. Okay, I mean. I'll do one job for them, just to kind of see what it is. But, but we're definitely going to be spending some time in orbit, like observing and and watching this. I have a I have an odd feeling about it. Um, but the, the bad guys. Yeah, yeah, it, it happens. 
it does happen from time to time. Um, I'm gonna, like I say, snap a shot mm -hmm. on my um, on my personal communicator device, and I'm just gonna bring this down to the bots and see if they can see if they can parse it for me. There's I'm there's something itching my brain a little bit about that mm -hmm. that task. I've been worried that we would receive a task like this, like in real life. Um, so maybe I'm being too precious and serious with it, but I, 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 w I would really like to know why I'm destroying people's homes before we, <laughs> so uh, before as, we do so. As the bots translated the little dot matrix printer, oh bot, yeah, do, 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 right? yes, and it just pops yeah. out. I mean, big. I, I, I pat him like the family dog. Yeah, I'm like, this is it. And uh, it just says, uh, once mission is accomplished, we'll provide footage and evidence specifically related to your father. What? I'm going to I'm going to show it. I'm going to show the message to the bot again. Are you sure this is what it says? And uh, it analyzes the, the message, and then printout comes out. Mm -hmm. Same thing. I, I'm scandalized by that information. I, 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 did, I was not aware that there was, I wasn't even aware that this was a class of information for me to examine and look up. Now we have to do it. Now, now they've figured it out. Oh, God. Now they've figured out exactly how to make me do it. OK. All right. Now, where is <clears throat> where is Atsugi compared to the, the rest of our fucking? Atsugi's a little bit nor If you go back to Burnout, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he can show you on the, on the <clears throat> interstellar map, the sphere map. Um, Atsugi's a little bit further north, but not as close to the Federated Sun Territories okay. as Ellsworth. Yes, Rashawn? Before you, would, leave, here, uh... would, you would you like the coin? I, I heard some sounds from your throat. You've seen uh, <clears> this <throat> odd image. Uh, the jump drive is carted <laughs> over to the simulator. What? <laughs> Roshan is taking off the simulator's neural helmet, and the the drive is... Shined chrome finish. There's new cable management. It's humming in a frequency that you have yet to <laughs> perceive. <laughs> to perceive. But I, but I, but I feel slightly. I feel like I'm in danger somehow. <clears throat> so it's just it's just gleaming. Yeah, and it is uh, all new seals, uh, and he just takes off, puts the neural helmet down. He's like, almost ready, Commander. And he just pushes it. Uh, the cart, the, and, the, the cart, and zigzag is just like <laughs> nodding. Just, I, I listen. I know how to pick them, you know. <laughs> In a way, I did that. Think about it like that's easy. And Think then about she it like just that. Walks away <laughs> and just walks towards Rashawn, high fives him, and <laughs> what an ass, <laughs> and walks. <laughs> So, so that's almost ready to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love what I'm seeing. So I mean, that's basically the last piece. But I've already told Rufus. I've already given him a time scale. So we got to do that first. No matter where Atsugi is, we have to. The Ellsworth job has a time component. Yeah, exactly. And we... so, uh, sorry, the other one has the same exact time component. So you've no. got a choice to make. Oh God. <sighs> Fuck. All right. Well. One of them has the dad info. Is this the greatest game of all time? We have to consider it. So, so I have to. So basically, I need to choose one of these, and you're not going to allow me to um, destroy my young pilot's mind in an effort to do both of them at the same time. No. I can't do the Rufus job. The Zill's vengeance job. Can't, can't, can't do the Tabla Nostra's work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. But I mean, the situation that it's created for me is like, so I'm going to...
contact him. I, I have to. I, not not a single one of my lies has ever come off in this entire game on purpose. <laughs> Why start now? <laughs> I, I sit back and I just flop over the back of the chair. I just, lean, just lean, just lean back. You know, stretch out the abdominals, and come back up and pull up Zill's vengeance. Should bring him a little bit. Yeah. What up, boy? Hey, Stabby. Yeah, Rufus. Listen, do you remember that? Do you remember when I saved your life? <laughs> yeah. Um, I want you to think about that and really hold it in your mind as I tell you the next part. I want you to focus on that part. I'm not going to be able to do this job. What? Hey, I've I already know. committed. I, I'm, well, my I, I already committed too, but I have to. I committed because you committed. I this was to, a dual committal. I have to uncommit. You can't uncommit once you commit. <clears throat> that's the point of committing. Well, no, but listen. I know that that's. I know that people say that, um, but I feel like it happens a lot, actually. Send Fuchs. Send Fuchs. Oh, there we go. Oh, I could send somebody else. Yeah, I say. But great news. <laughs> Great news for you, for yous. Um, it's not me. Yeah, yeah. Great, but but that being said, um, I do have someone that I trust, um, uh, an employee of mine. That I, obviously our relationship is very recent. Like I said, Chagos is crazy, and um, and it keeps revealing itself to me in strange ways. Um, but I am going to uh, contact. One of my, um, one of my subsidiaries, and uh, I'll be sending them on to handle this, this job with you. You gonna tell me about him? How many mechs he got? What's his arm? What is he armed with? What's going on? What do I need to know? I was, I knew well, I was getting at least two from you. Oh, uh, absolutely, absolutely. But honestly, Rashawn Cole is a little green. Um, I think that for this job, uh, what you want is seasoned professionals, um, and uh, I'm going to offer you uh, an arrangement uh, with a group that I have brought into my employ here. We're talking about a stable of premium mechs. These are men and women that have that train and battle uh, on a weekly basis. In fact, I mean, in terms of in terms of cockpit hours, uh, I'm probably losing money sending them to you on this. But I felt bad about it. And also, um, Kiko gave me a great idea. <laughs> and so we're going to go with that, I think. <clears throat> and I say, right. I, say, I say, listen, they, they're going to have a special passcode and uh, the pass phrase. Yes, Zill's commitment. Right? I, uh, uh, all right. Um, <laughs> no, no. He's, <laughs> he is going to introduce himself as Underhill. When he gets there, and that is the that's the passphrase. Uh, then I want you to invite him directly. Did I say Baggins back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, so optimally, um, yeah. When you receive the passphrase, uh, cons consider it as though I've sent myself to this this place. But I think that you'll be impressed with the results. So and my fear, honestly, so I, I pay them out. Then. Yes, absolutely. My fear, okay, is that. Eventually, you won't be coming to me for work. Eventually, you're just going to stick with this guy. But that's that's fine with it. Ultimately, that's fine with it. Right? All right. I think it'll that's be okay. What, uh, listen, if you're going to vouch for him, that's fine. Absolutely. Absolutely. If this goes sideways, I'll know where to find you. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, if it, goes, if it goes sideways, I mean, that's not my fault. But... Um, I mean, technically it is. You're Actually, decommitting no, from so, the commitment sorry. that we had. Uh, Rufus, there's a solar storm or something. I, um, uh, I mean, I'm hearing you just fine. I'm not hearing you fine, though. That's the thing. Uh -huh. You're breaking up like crazy. Oh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I can't hear you at all. Oh, God. Well, let me change the channel. Oh, can you hear me now? I'm just looking around the room. <laughs> can you say, hear me now? I say... Burnout, this this thing's working, right? I Come think on. the antenna 
I think hey, there's something. Can you hear me? Anyway, no, I can't hear him anymore. Oh. That's the thing. Hey, that's what's weird we had about a, it. We had an agreement. Uh, go sleep. They better come. This, go through tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, we're good. No, no. I'll go through the space tunnel. Sorry. I uh, can't hear you. And then I'm going to turn that off. And now I got to talk to fucking Fuchs. Okay. But I'm going to go. I'm going to go do that in person. Okay. I'm going to actually get. I'm going to leave the, sh- the clip. So Listen, according to the organization, he is your charge now. Yes, exactly. And so I, I'm just saying this is I, I need to set the. I need to set expectations here for the future. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll just I'll walk in from the strip. Yeah, and you can... back into Fuchs's um, stable. Stable, and, and he's there, and his whole crew is there repairing the mechs. He's yeah. still pretty banged up. Yeah, he's still yeah. like you see blood still <laughs> oh, no, no, like he, on he, his he, face. He got physically hurt. His arm like, is in probably, a sling. He's probably scared of you. Yeah, and he's just like <laughs> that's the funny part. What, 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 what do you want? I say, well, great it's news. It's been like ten minutes, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. I agree, but you have to understand. It, you know, here in Black Remnant, we operate at the speed of business, and so it's good news. It's an opportunity. Like I didn't know, I didn't know how long it was going to take, but there's actually an incredible opportunity for you to sort of uh, prove the stable out, and you know, we prove. I mean, I mean. My understanding is that your last job was a loss, Fuchs. <laughs> and he spits out some blood. That's what I heard. I heard. I heard that you got kind of banged up on your last one. So, I need to make sure that you know when I send you out somewhere as part of Black Remnant that, um, you know, you're delivering results for the company. That's just what I heard. Like, I don't know if. And he's. You see him. His teeth just start to grit. <laughs> what do you want? See, you're, listen. First of all, don't do that. All right, your teeth are your wealth. All right, you're not getting any more of them. And second, um, I'm looking for service with a smile here, buddy. You see what I'm saying? This isn't how it works. It works the other way. In fact, it works how I say it works. Fine. Uh, I'm gonna pass over the coordinates. I'm gonna say you'll be hooking up with You're gonna be thinking about Zill's vengeance. Wait, Zill's vengeance? Like <sighs> Hill's vengeance? I who knows? <laughs> it c- could be anybody. Um, so this this is how, who you work with? Well, you know, there's a lot of these vengeance crews running around. I mean, um, I mean, Rufus is dumb enough to <laughs> do this, but what the? You want me to <sighs> listen? This. Think of it as a as a space opportunity. You know what I mean? It just it just landed right. I'm just landing this job right in your organization. Yeah, I'm just afraid I'm not going to land back home again. Well, I mean, look, that's that's an absolutely reasonable situation, and um, but you know, you're part of something bigger than yourself now. Think about that. Does that make you feel any kind of feelings? Does this help me at all? Should I go? Is that what's best? I'll get it done. All right. I'm sorry I had to kind of chew on your ass there before, but you yeah. know, tough affair. You're not going to discuss the <laughs> the how the funds are going to be routed. Oh, uh, I, I, I say, I say, and look, this is this is his first one. I, I, after everything else that happened, I say this right here, this job. Uh, I know that it's coming in late, um, and obviously you're working with someone very mysterious. Who knows who it could be? You know, he's an unknown quantity. Um, oh, it's pretty known. <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta, I'm bad with microphones today. Here, let's get it all the way up here. I'm going to pull it over. Like Put this. on your glasses. Yeah, here we go. Just clip them on there. <laughs> Honestly, that might be better. How do I sound, Josh? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Incredible. No, I feel very cyber. Here, let me put it on the other side. Mm. Man, this is incredible. This is like cyberware. This is like Artel Sorian cyberpunk. All right, here we go. Got that right there. Just get this going. Yeah, from the here. 80s. All right. Oh, man, this is so advanced. I can see into the matrix. Yeah. Um, 
I say everybody's gonna be filming like this. These, yeah. In, oh in yeah, the yeah. 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 After they see this shit, yeah. they're gonna be like, "Fuck, dude, how do I do that?" It's yeah. easy. You just put it on your glasses. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But I'm going to no, say you got to take the wire and put it, about, put it behind your ear. Oh, I don't know. Here, hang on. This is great for the podcast. Um, <laughs> this is so cool, you guys. This is like... This have is you like, ever felt ha- more cool? Dude, have you ever heard of hot girl shit? <laughs> this is cool guy this shit. This is hot geek shit. Oh, man. Pull it. Actually, it's kind of funny when it lo- loops up around. Well, this, is, it it. <laughs> this is a, it's a little borgy, right? I, yeah, exactly. Like, this is exquisite. Anyway, long story short, I say, I understand I'm coming to you f- fast, and I understand that you probably need major surgery after our last conflict. I I, I know that I'm asking a lot. Um, that's why I'm putting full pass through on these credits. Say what? Correct. I'm putting full pass through on these credits just as a mark of goodwill. It's the first thing I'm going to be sending you on. Um, that's half of that's half of that job. Um, I feel like that's reasonable, and I feel like it's putting the right the right foot forward. And also, um, I I just think it's a I think it's a strong play. All right. I'm not allowed to say no. So. Yeah, I mean, exactly. It's, it's, it sounds like this sounds like I this is going I well. Do it, it sounds like this is going well so far. Well, um, <clears throat> okay. So I was like, I'm going to walk out of there with a, a a spring in my step. I had no idea. I thought it was going to be this whole thing, but I think it's actually going to be fine. Because the, the truth is, I can start sending them on other. If, if this actually works, I can start sending them on other jobs, and picking it up. And I'm going to say, I I am going to require. I'm not going to cover the uh, livery. If you're going to be if you're going to be going onto a, a field representing the company, you do have to wear the livery. Now, we are our, our rules are very very you know particular, but they're not onerous. Um, individual pilots are um, authorized to wear whatever livery um, on the main portions of the battle mech, but uh, right arm weapons. Uh, and weapons up to the shoulder. I'm basically going down the regs. You know, we- obviously weapons and armatures up to the shoulder need to be uh, a very, very specific black. And I'm going to pull it up. It's like the Fuligan Black 4077. I'm like, this is the, this is, it's got to be this color. I'm sorry. This is your brilliant idea? Well, I'm not saying that it's brilliant, but um, it is an idea. And it's how it's going to go. So... File that away, I guess. All right. We'll paint our arms black. Yeah, exactly right. I like what I'm hearing. Yeah. All, All right. right. Whatever. All right. Otho out. <laughs> then he just looks at me and he's like, what? Oh. <laughs> you walk away. I'm trying something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Otho out. I'm going to walk into one of the stables and there's no escape. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> and then I have to I have to come out. And, and Fuchs, you just hear Fuchs like, how did I get roped into this? Yeah, well, listen. I, I said I, just, I wanted to see if it was uh, stable, and it is. So <laughs> <laughs> stable, it's stable. Yeah, I'm like, listen. I, I need to know who I'm working with here. I, I and I, 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 and I give him a look like, did that? Did you? Are you buying that at all? Is that working? All right. Well, all right. Now I'm gonna go out the real door, um, and I'm gonna head up inside the bazaar section of the arena mm-hmm. um, and talk to Fizzbang yeah. real quick. Just gotta okay. let, let, let's let him know. <clears throat> I'm gonna say Fizzbang, and I'm gonna yeah. do a little drum on the... And he uh, opens up and you see, you see him just elated. He's like, we sold almost all the merch. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Big, big handshake. Um, I'm gonna say, listen, we got a couple... That's how I'll, I'll make sure there's a couple things you understand. I'm gonna be... Going off world okay. soon. But well, Roshan's staying, right? What do you mean? Like, well, he's staying to fight more. He's the champion, and so we can sell more merch. I mean, here, here's here's what I can offer you. Not that. <laughs> what do you mean, not that? He's that, he's literally the champion of the fucking planet. I, I, I recognize the money making opportunity there. Of course, it, I. We will come back on a regular schedule to Chagos 
and we can use that to pump the whole thing up. But I mean, you gotta leave them wanting more. Huh? 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 You, you, you gotta leave them wanting more. We are gonna be generating FOMO. This is I, a business trip. I bought this license to make money. You are taking opportunity away from me to utilize this license. Ah, but it's, it's, it's even better than that. You, what you understand is that I have become, shall we say, familiar with certain aspects of the tab business. What the hell does that mean? I'm not in the tab business. I make merch. You see that, Ed? You see those jerseys? You see those little flags? I say, you might not have been in the tab business before. But, as I suggested, I think there is an opportunity here. I can pull a lever. That's the simplicity of Listen, it. I don't want to be part of the tab business. I'm still making the lever motion. Yeah. I'm like, just like this. It's, it's this easy. Well, I'm not that dumb to get in, in bed with that, that business. Well, no, no. You, you think that I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about, that's a euphemistic lever. I know this isn't a lever. Like, I'm not saying that something's happening when I do this. Okay. I'm simply using this as a euphemism to communicate aspects of the business that I can bring to you. I, I know this isn't real. I'm not trying to insult well, I you. Get that. I'm not trying to piss on your leg and tell you it's raining. I'm saying that this <laughs> right here is an idea and I and I can bring you right into Listen, it. You keep those tabs out of my shop and out of my business. I don't what, want any what, part of what, that. What, what, but tabs are the best. <laughs> I want nothing to do with those things and who's behind it. I mean, I mean I'll, I'll admit that I've been somewhat troubled by this business as well. <laughs> I feel like it preys on the youth. <laughs> um, so no tabs then? All right, well, shit. Uh, well, here, I, I'm going to I'm going to lay my, uh, personal, uh, com my personal communicator right here on the counter, and we're, we're just going to sort of go through the schedule, mm -hmm. like, of the next couple years, and I'm going to say, you know, when, when do you think, when, when are the, when are the best times? Imagine we're talking about the biorhythm of the business. See, when are the optimal times here? And he picks up the, the tab. The, the, and he selects two years? Just slides the whole slider I say, over. I say, well, what if I could give you 2 to 3% of that? And I go through um, all, all the biggest, like all the biggest festivals, yeah. um, you know, times where people are coming in from off world. Like I'm looking at the, the full menu and then I reduce his two year uh, commitment down to a series of six um six events and I, and I say each of these times we're going to be here for a week and we're going to be doing everything that we can to maximize profit in this um in this sphere i'm also going to be going to other worlds that i hope we can bring can shine the light of fizzbang on these people uh i mean hopefully you can start moving into a a, a system where you know you're starting to get a bite of some of the activity that i'm doing on these other worlds as well obviously no tabs Ugh. But um, perish the thought. Um, but there are definitely going to be opportunities, and I would love to cut you in. I'd love to have a, a supplier for some of this stuff. Okay, I can, I can, I can work with that. All no right, tabs though. Well, uh, you know what? Listen, I saw a tab once, and I was like, "Ugh, gross." So if that, hopefully that helps. Yeah. Put you at ease. Yeah. No tabs. It, it like Everything the else. Tab like poking out of the pocket, to <laughs> pushing it back down. <laughs> It's like trying to be free. It's like, Ugh. no, I saw one of these and I'm just like, I'm going to destroy it. That's how much I hate yeah, these. Yeah, you should. Yeah, exactly. Well, exactly. And it's just like, who's even running this stuff? Like, what kind of person? It's gross. Anyway, I'm just as disgusted as you are. Um, uh, and then I, I just make sure I, I just, you know, send him all these dates so that mm -hmm. he's got his own copy of it. And he's just marking them off, marking them off, Jake. And he's like, okay, I'll send you a uh, requisition on how much uh, merchandise we're ordering. You need to sign off on it and pay the pay the bill. Yeah, I mean, I, I say, obviously, we're going to be, you know, I'm, I'm, even if I can't be here on Chagos to actually, um, you know, to have our star players sort of as part of the games, there's Listen, definitely going to be There's an some evergreen Roshan this is, merch this is, that this we'll is, always have up in the store. The legend, right? absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And then we need to start talking about seasonal merch. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys have Christmas down here, but some kind of ornament situation. You know, I mean, I don't know how I don't know what a Chagos Christmas is like. Mm -hmm. I assume there's lasers of some kind. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't use lasers these well, days? Well, this is exactly. It's like a laser tree. I don't know. I don't know how you do it. 
but and I'm not judging. I'm just saying I want to find some way to extract value from it. Um, all right. Well, our business is concluded, sir. It's been an absolute pleasure, uh, and I'll, I'll see you again. Yeah, invoice will be in the mail. Probably. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see, a lot of times there's going to be, a lot of times there's solar uh, storms <laughs> and winds, so I can't promise this is going to be like 100%. Space but, tunnels. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, sometimes you go through, I don't know if you heard about these space tunnels. Don't look them up. That's not real. <laughs> I'm sending you an invoice. Definitely don't look them up. If they say that that can actually create a space tunnel, and so it's something Oh, that, lo looking up space tunnels yeah, creates space tunnels? Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's a quantum thing? Yeah. yeah it's okay. worrisome. Yeah. You'll get entangled. I don't think I, yeah. There's aspects of it that science... Um, can't explain. And so... Yeah, neither can reality. So I'll be sending you a bill shortly. All right. Is this... Okay. It's just to purchase the merch. Yeah, yeah. You're already, you're already well, in on no, this. No, no, exactly. And I and I think what you'll find is that I'm a very committed partner. Huh. Um, <laughs> That's what committed partners say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so I'm feeling good. I'm feeling right. I'm feeling free. Um, I have, I've done all the business before noon, um, and now I'm just going to head right back to the ship. Okay. I've talked to, I've had a lot of novel, I've had a lot of very novel, sophisticated conversations with people I didn't want to talk to, and they all turned out more or less okay. Um, I'm sure that will, uh, maintain. Yes. It's pre-flight started on yeah. the ship. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Every, uh, <laughs> you see burnout getting, uh, the engine drive is, is. I'm seeing the I'm seeing the flaps. The Every, flaps everything's, everything's moving, moving correctly. Yeah. All right, good. Um, you walk in, you see Zigzag just like nodding her head at Roshan, who is, who is now moved over and is repairing another one of the wow. Um uh, Just uh, putting uh, not the finishing touches, but uh, definitely making progress on the mongrel, um, getting it prepped for. Yes. Whatever adventure sweets. In, in fact, to here, no, I'm going to grab the mongrel because I only had I only had that one chance. I had a chance to use it, and then I had a I had to go to another country, um, and it did get blown up the very first time I ever put it on the table. So hopefully, I mean, I'm sure that doesn't indicate anything cosmic, um, but not with the the newly found finesse that was on the the. The work on the on the drive. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. So this is regular. No, this is regular normal <laughs> yeah. work a day yeah. content. <laughs> um, clang. No, exactly. as a wrench just falls on the ground. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. The wrench you drop the wrench and it gets dropped inside. Yeah. The armor plate uh -huh. and it just goes kung tung tung. It's like a pachinko. Boom. Yeah. Japan. Yeah. It's like it, <laughs> basically it just hits every plate on the way down inside. Like it's never you're never getting yeah, it out. I mean, Rashawn steps on a Lego. That yeah, kind of thing. Whoa! So it's... <laughs> but basically, that whole th that wrench is going to be in that yeah. foot forever. Yeah, no, every time you uh, take a step. No, no every ding, time ding. you you uh, rotate that waist. <laughs> every time you swivel, you're going to hear clang clang. Yeah. <laughs> And it's fine. It's totally fine. <laughs> Torso it's, twist. Yeah, exactly. But if, eventually, there's going to be as there's, it's going to be as many as three hundred wrenches. <laughs> They're just going to keep piling up inside the the superstructure, the fuselage, if you will. Yeah. Um. Um. But no, I am going to go over and. Um. I'm going to go over and mourn the claim jumper for a little while. And Zigzag walks up and says, what are you doing? I'm mourning the claim jumper. <laughs> Why? It's going to get repaired. Somebody else touched it. Somebody else touched the yoke. And? I think that's it. <laughs> I'm not sure I can drive it anymore. I like a fresh one. Rashawn, <laughs> he's being weird again. I need a, f I like a fresh one. I need a. F I. Oh my God! I'll see what I can do. But this is this is what you care about. You care more about your yoke than I the rest of the. Mech? I wouldn't worry. I. It's a museum piece now. I don't. I think it's best. If, I think it's best if. Bronze it. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm gonna part Leave ways. I'm gonna part ways with it. Um, obviously, it'll it'll still be in here, taking up space and being inconvenient. <laughs> I'll stub my toe on it occasionally, but. I can't. I can't see myself driving around again. Not after that. Well, because somebody flagged it. Like that. That's your concern. 
I feel like the cockpit smells weird, honestly. Like, I don't know if it's like a cologne thing. Like, I don't know. I feel it smells, it's like there's something in there. I don't think it can be cleaned. I think someone's there's... got a new girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's dirty, basically. <laughs> you don't want it anymore. I won't fix it. It's impure. Zero. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, we don't we don't have to. Canonically, it's it's not being repaired alongside the rest of the mechs. Okay. That is a that is a uh, deprioritized task. I claim jumper is deleted from my. Um, from my account in our command and control. Heaven forbid we need an emergency. No, this is exact. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just trying to create great content for the future. <laughs> so, just so you uh, know, you had th Roshan had three personal XP left over. Yeah. You had made 28 million. Yeah. Uh, through various assorted gambling Deals. on Roshan. Yeah. Um, you spent 20 million. On the mongrel. Yeah, 19. Uh, I don't think it was 20. I, think I, I, I talked him down to 19. I think he wanted to charge me that. I just go into the, I'll just go into the thing. I remember 12. It was definitely not 12. <laughs> oh, no, it's it not 12. easily 20. No, no. I'm joking. Yeah, but it, 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 oh, it, I know. It, I know. It, 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 was, it, was, it was not 20. I promise you. It was lower than that. It will give you 19. <laughs> yes, exactly. But but anyway. That gives... five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 20 at brother fees, god damn it, Jux. <laughs> ah, there we go, Jux. Chicago got taxes. Whose side are you on? Um, so, uh, you have eight left over. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, but, 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 but all the repairs and stuff have been covered. This is just that sort was of covered. Our, this, was this, just... Is, this is just, this is like the um, yep. checking account, yep. basically. So, you can divvy that up however you want. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for for right now, I don't really know. You don't need to. Yeah, I'm. I'm saying we're we're going around. We're going to be seeing some brand new stuff out here. Yeah. Um, I think I might like to have some liquidity, mm -hmm. um, in the near term. Yeah. <laughs> is my guess. I, I I feel like we're going to be reaching the point in my career where bribes are required, mm -hmm. and it'll just be nice to have that stuff sitting around. Okay. I feel like it's about to get weird. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, yeah. So if if the um if he's out there kicking the tires, then I think it's time to it's time to head over to Atsugi. Okay. Um Burnout easily launches the ship. Oh, for sure. Um it's not his first time. And you're you're underway. And just so that it can be so that it can be pictured, this the Clipso has that has like VTOL capability. So mm -hmm. it actually just goes straight up off of the Yeah. Straight up off of the pad. It doesn't need the strip. Nope. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, absolutely. Let's 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 just let's get out there into the the void. Yeah, you easily uh, exit orbit of Chagos and are now um, in flight towards Atsuki. Do you have anything you want? Either of you want to do while uh, flying there? But I think I'm gonna um, spend. I'm gonna invest my time pulling up. Uh, just, I, I want to know as much as I can about. Uh, about this world and what sorts of conflicts, like worker conflicts, like I, I want to get a sense of the political environment on the planet, mm -hmm. just so I sort of have a sense of what I'm walking into. It's going to be defended, I know that, but yeah, you you know that this is mostly a. You can find out that it's mostly a trade world um, that deals in exports more than imports. Um, so oh yeah, the, so it's 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 um it's of, all output. Each of each of the different cities um, uh, export a different resource. Uh, so it's very civilization. Yeah, 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 pretty much. Yeah. Uh, so you, um, it's it's more fiefdoms than anything else. Oh, okay. So it, it, it's actually sort of like a traditionally managed, mm -hmm. even clannish mm -hmm. social organization. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, but like I say, you know, once once we arrive in the once we arrive in the outer surface, if something doesn't happen on the way in, mm -hmm. um, I do want to spend some time just observing observing the site that they want us to go down into, just to see if I can pull any extra information out. Like I say, I mean, I'll do a job for these people based on the reward they've established, but I I am a little I am a little perturbed by the. Um, by the structure of the job. 
just help him fix up the mongrel so that it's, it's ready. It's so, ready. That, so that it has yeah. legs and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I appreciate and that. And Zigzag yeah. looks up at you and, just, you know, as you're, you're kind of working on the um, torso, mm -hmm. just. <laughs> he responds, he's back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and I'm, 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 I mean, I can, I can help on the paint side. I mean, and, I, I occasionally have to turn a wrench as, here. As you walk up, you know, you walk up to yeah. and grab the paint. Zigzag just shoves you back, takes the. Paint. I walk over with the paint, yeah. and then I'm just like, oh, but I said, listen, you gotta. I, I want to contribute. Oh, you've done enough. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, and I'm, I'm gonna say. I'm just going to sort of like look around. I'm going to set the buckets down and uh, just sort of like look around. Is burnout in the is burnout in the in the cockpit or is he down here? You, uh, he's he's actually just uh, hanging out in the Atlas bar. Okay, I'm going to bring the volume of my voice down. Okay, we're, we're going to we're going to speak privately inside this area, and I'm going to be, I'm going to look around just in the belly of the Calypso at the different mechs, because, mm -hmm. you know, we have our Nova, which is a really, really vicious, close to mid-range platform, like just a, a brawler, monstrous, like kill kill light mechs dead outright. Um, and I'm going to say, have you ever spent any time in the simulator? And who are you? you're saying this to burnout? No, to, to zigzag. No, burnout. Zigzag? Burnout is oh, not oh, okay. going to hear this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't want that. I've, ne I've never gotten a chance. Do you ever think about it? Yeah, all the time. I say, well, we got, we got flight time on the way to Etsy. I've got work time because of somebody contributed. What if, what if that was part of your work? Okay. You have my attention. Have her show you how the simulator works. And you see her run <laughs> off the mech. And Roshan, Zigzag comes up to you and just starts tapping on you ta and keeps tapping, tapping, tapping. Roshan, 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 <laughs> Roshan. I, I, I can use the mech. I, I can use the simulator. I want to get in. Show me. Please. Let me. Let me. Good, good. Mm, now. <laughs> <laughs> and Roshan just slides down the ladder. Yeah. Okay. No! I'm going to pass you the coin here in a second. Um, but as they leave, I smile and pick up my paint buckets <laughs> and head back over to the mech. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I I'll, I'll get up maybe about to the knee. It'll take, it'll take, it'll take me all <laughs> day yeah. on one leg. No. Yeah. Um, but it, and it looks okay. <laughs> it's not... It's not great, but yeah. you know it'll do in a pinch. But I think that this might be a funny scene if you are showing her around the the simulator. I think there might be something to that. Here, I'm just gonna pass this over to you, <laughs> and let's see how it goes. Uh, Roshan just asked, "What, what do you want to do?" I want to drive. Give me in it now. Come on. All right, uh, have a seat. Okay, and she hops in. Uh, does she, does she, I'm good, right? <laughs> are, her con are her limbs all in the appropriate spots? No, absolutely okay. not. No, dude, this, this, just this, like, is, this is going to be like Patrick Swayze and Ghost. Yeah, okay. You're going to have to take her hand and put it on the different <laughs> things. Yeah. Uh, so take your right hand, put it on the control stick, mm -hmm. your left hand yep. on the throttle yoke, okay. and... Um, and let's go! <laughs> oh, no, but she's experiencing all this. The, all the monitors are black, are yeah. black so yeah. it's not even on yet. Yeah, um, she doesn't know how it starts. He reaches down and moves her legs so, so that yeah, the, this way. the her feet are on the pedals yep. correctly, and uh, uh, and she's just yanking the everything <laughs> back and forth. It's all she's almost ripping the, the controls out. She's so excited. <laughs> no, no, no. Just like that. Yeah, you have to be uh, easy with it, like with your with your tools. 
<laughs> you see her to like you're ratcheting the the the, the controls. Uh, here, here, here. Uh, just sit back. Uh, just just sit back. Uh, he, he strap. He puts in the the harness, so she stops moving. <laughs> okay, yeah, you see. Yeah. She, has, <laughs> she has. She has. To get, just yes. be restrained. Yes. See, this the, is normal and natural. The 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 strap is almost like it, it, it's it pushes her back enough so where she's almost out of range of the control okay. right so like yeah. he adjusts yeah. the the seat and yeah. gets it set so that her so that she can reach the controls and the pedals mm -hmm. yeah yeah and, and, like, and like put yeah. put like put her in as like make it make a a pilot account for her on the device so that it like remembers all the positioning and seat stuff <laughs> right uh he's like okay so uh just uh relax Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. Close your eyes okay. and hold your breath. And he puts the neural helmet uh, over her head and flips the switch, and it turns on. The screens come up, um, <laughs> and it's basically. Uh, <laughs> you didn't say let go of my breath. <laughs> So, I got your breath. <laughs> so, so while they're doing this, I'm passing by at about this time, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm heading back to the Atlas Bar. <coughs> okay. Um, please please continue. I'll 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 pick up after after you have a chance to show her a little bit of how it works. There's a little bit of blind leading the blind here. In yeah. Terms of, <laughs> uh, but he punches in a, a very rudimentary like. When you go to get your driver's no, permit, no, kind no, of no. Thing. there's cones. There's not even there's not even any weapons uh, okay. plugged in. It's just purely traffic cones. Yeah, and, yeah. And you're just, like walking yeah. back and forth. There's like just a single waypoint that she has to get through around okay. some buildings. What do I do? You're good with Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Twist. Yes. No, 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 no. Let's say you started her out with the urban mech. And so the top part, the, the torso is just rotating. <laughs> just spinning like no, a like is, a turntable. This table. is, a, this is a, a battle mech that doesn't even have torso twist. It oh, yeah. Is like, oh, yeah. yeah. No, this is like it, it's got a very low speed and it might not uh, even be a real yeah mech right this is like the this is like the um the primitive shapes like when mm -hmm. you first start using a 3d program yeah. it's like you got squares <laughs> you got cubes <laughs> you got spheres and just follow the waypoint use your use the throttle and the okay. waypoint the steer, throttle steer the, the yeah. steering mechanism and we'll start there okay cool and you just see your Punch the throttle, whoop! <laughs> but it's only going like three miles. Yes, like, yes. You know, it's, it's even though she's feeling. cranked it. It's about the feeling. It's about the energy. Yeah, this is this, this is, is cool. Ba this yeah. is baby mode. No, this is yeah. Right, the, the limiters are all on. the thresholds yeah. are on. Like, there's yeah. a whole page of these that you can control, and they're all on. Um, so, Sean, what does it mean when I step over these giant orange cones? Is this part of it? It seems kind of fun. Yes, the score. Yeah, exactly. It's a scoring yeah. thing. It's like, yeah, I gotta hit all the cones. Yeah. In fact, it's the opposite. <laughs> So she manages to get to the end, like shit's knocked over, and it's like, okay, we're gonna do it again, but you're gonna keep all the structures in one piece. You need to go around. You need a light touch. Okay. <laughs> Just cranks it. It's still like slow. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and you, uh, you can see on the, we'll the output that. monitors yeah, we'll that She's kind of moving in between a little bit yeah. smoother now. 50% yeah. of the structures are intact yeah. by yeah. the end yeah. of yeah. your... <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a good run. So, yes. so But I'm, I'm heading back to the Atlas okay. bar. No, he's not in the interior portion. Is he in the, no, he's on the, the... the Tiki bar exterior? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I wanna, I'm going to grab a... I'm going to pull a glass mm -hmm. uh, off of there. Or if he's back there. Does he like to do it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I was just gonna say, I, 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 he's got I'll, the Aloha yeah, shirt I was, on, I, right? I, was, I was just gonna be like, uh, I'd be like, uh, bartender, the usual. The usual? Yeah. Okay. Are we out? Yeah. <laughs> and, and you see him fix right. you up a drink. Absolutely. And it is just this delightful 
uh, sunrise sp- type. Yeah. It's a tropical. It's a, it's a my um, tie. It's yellow and it is a, it's, it's a sunrise. Yes. But it's a frozen sunrise with a red uh, sun that goes oh, from the top perfect. to the bottom. Perfect. So yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the stool so that like we're both looking into the the like inside the co- the calypso's hold, mm-hmm. and I'd be like, Rashawn's got her in the simulator. What? I say, no, and no. he just no 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 grabs no. your shoulder. No. What? No no. I say hey 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 hey. You knew it was gonna happen. You knew it was gonna happen at some point. You got her shot. Now you're gonna put her in a mech. Hey, no, look, I don't know how she came to be inside the simulator, but it's interesting to think about though, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, in in some ways, you know, that's a, a, I think I suspect that's quite a, a linear arc. My father started as a mechanic. I think it happens a lot. I think it happens a lot. And you just see him chug his <laughs> entire tea drink. Yeah. I say, listen, if maybe maybe he's not teaching her how to do it. Maybe it's just a date. A what? <laughs> he's even more. His shoulder cranks. Yours even tighter. Uh, hey, listen. I don't. I mean, I can. Uh, I can. I can make a rule if you want, but you got to be very, very careful about how how hard you enforce the rules on someone like that. I'm just saying. <laughs> Consider it. Anyway, uh, I mean, I guess. I guess. I guess we'll check her stats in the in the simulator. We'll see how it turns out. Maybe she'll wash out. Yeah, I say, yeah, God, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she doesn't have what it takes to pilot a battle mech. I'll go stop her. <laughs> I'm gonna get up, but I get up slow. <laughs> get up off the thing. Yeah, I'll just pull her out of there. And as you're, as you're walking, I don't want her to be disappointed. you just see a tiki cup go <laughs> flying past your earlobe. <laughs> see. <laughs> what are you... So, you, oh, so, so Kiko in with the plaque. Yeah. What do you got? As you were getting close to the simulator, you can see on the monitor there <laughs> is a, there's a, a scenario with four different waypoints in an urban environment, and she has uh, she is using jump jets from point to <laughs> oh, point. <laughs> oh God! So she so she leveled up. Pretty fast. Well, I'm sorry. I have to apologize. I've been watching uh, Mobile Suit Gundam, The Witch from Mercury, and so I couldn't resist. I had to. I had to put something in there. Um, so she's. So she. Like, I had one drink, and now she's on the jump jet tests. And I, I, I look over because she's obviously in there working hard. I mean, she's probably never done the. She hasn't done the the JJ's, and so I'm, I'm like. I'm like, I look over at Rashawn and I'm like, she's already doing the, the JJ's? Like, this is, what do you mean? Did you, you did you? You had me show her. Well, yeah, but I, that's, she's doing this day one? I, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to look in close on the, um, on the monitor. I mean, how, how's it going? You can, I mean, you can tell me you you paid a you, a, you, a, a, you, a you played a currency. You yeah, can, this you is, are. I'm. You see it. Yeah, like she's just she's hitting the spots. The last the last waypoint is on top of a building. Oh, <laughs> okay. So so I we're we're doing we're doing the level three um, program. Okay. <laughs> Watch this. Huh. Uh, and then I'll, I'll head back to my room. But that's probably our that's probably our scenario up until up until uh, Atmo would be my guess. <laughs> okay. Yeah, look at him! Look at him piling up these plaques. <laughs> we saw what he can do with three. It's yeah. pretty bad. Um, so uh, a week passes, um, and you and Burnout gives a signal over the comms that you're reaching orbit. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna head up with him. I'm gonna get into because it's like he basically is piloting, uh, like a, you know, an ex-military jump ship type mm-hmm. thing, and he's one person. So there's a bunch in my mind. I should draw a diagram of it just so that 
we're all sort of picturing the same thing just because mm-hmm. I think it would be neat. But it's sort of like, um, it's like the ship in the original Alien. Like it's a pretty industrial mm-hmm. interior, yeah. but there's like a couple rows yeah. uh, of instrument of panels, of, of panels yeah. that have that you know in a in a fully crewed ship those would all have full-time people at them sure right but i'm, gonna, I'm just going to go back and sit at the sit at the device that mm-hmm. does um that has the full sensorium of the device that can look at the planets okay and um i'm gonna i'm gonna have us go geosynchronous with kogi and then i'm going to deploy all of the high-end um, cameras that we have on the belly of the ship, mm-hmm. um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna enhance quadrant one. Okay, and you uh, and Burnout looks back. He's like, "What the hell are you doing back there, kiddo?" Well, I just I don't know. It's my ship. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> <sighs> oh, God. All right. And well, I say I say. Well, you know how it is. It's like back in the day. It wasn't just you know. Back in the day, it wasn't just one person in the cockpit. I mean, do you ever miss those days, the full crew? Yeah. Well, sometimes I miss them. I mean, I grew up on this ship. I'd never came in here. And look, I don't have a problem with the with the current configuration. Uh, you have a presence, you know, and it obviously it fills the it fills the cockpit. But what I'm saying is that I do remember that, and I I can see that from here. Mm-hmm. I can see us back to that from here. But also, it's like you have a whole ship. I want to use it. Right. You know what I mean? I use I use the latrines. I have a circuit. I'm happy for you. Yeah. I want to make sure they're each getting some use. I make a deposit. See what I mean? I never want to think about that again. Use the whole ship. And then... <laughs> And so I'm going to zoom in real close on the... Yeah. Um, what you can tell is this is a functioning um, habitat. There are four major buildings and then three sets of uh, minor um, uh, buildings that that you can see oh, within. Industrial buildings, industrial like smokestacks. Buildings. Warehouses, yeah. Smoke, <clears throat> well, the industrials are the, pretty much the heavy side of the... The spectrum. Yeah. Um, and then there's light manufacturing uh, warehousing. Okay. For the munitions or yep. uh, whatever. Is there any other information I can pull, like in terms of... Um... You can't get any really uh, any other data than that. You, you can, you, you're basically getting camera footage. Yeah. It's it's like security camera footage from a mm-hmm. great height. It's like C-130 type shit. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, I'm just going to exhale. If we can... Strike a munitions depot. Then this, that'll be a quick one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and I, I think, and this is why I'm glad I saved some money because I know that that money is actually what we load. We literally just load money into the ordinance. Mm-hmm. Um, if we can, if we can start this thing off, and the optimal, the optimal scenario I think for me is one where I know there's rules for it in the book, where you drop from the ship in midair. That's how we got to do it. Yeah. So I think we start with a strike on the munitions because I've I've seen the flow of the place. Now we sort of have a sense of where these materials are going, where they're collecting, and then where they're transformed into something else. If we start with that and then jump out of the ship, out of the doors, yeah. I first of all I think it would be very cool. Yeah. Um, but second of all, I do think that that would be quite shocking. Okay. So, but I, I didn't see any battle mechs. I mean, if if if. If I had seen battle mechs, you would have told me that there was like some battle mechs on a smoke break or something. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Leaning yeah, up against a building. Showing. Yeah, you don't, you, you don't see by anything. A, by a Vespa. You don't see anything on the Giant radar water yet. Cooler. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's a water tower. Um, if you, how many uh, aerial strike points do you want to buy? Uh, yeah, there the, are. It's a half mil? It's, uh, well, it's no, two types, right? It's, it's one XP. Yeah, it's one XP per five points. And here's here's the list of what each strike costs in terms oh, okay. of points. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we want we want. I think that. Oh god, you know what we'll do is we'll do a heavy strafing run on it, and we'll we'll try to catch two. We'll try we'll try to catch two, uh, two of these facilities in that line, mm-hmm. um, and then we'll jump out at the end, and and it will do uh, close air support. Okay. And how and how many are, are you? Just, so you're only going to buy five points of. Yeah, yeah. So, what, what was the cost again? Just for one XP per 
five points. Per five. Oh, oh, here. So base target number damage value. Here's these the cost. The cost. Um, one XP. Okay, so I could get two of these for one million. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's what I'm going to do. We'll do two strafing runs on these buildings. Okay. Um, because they're looking for 50 50 percent destruction. Would uh, heavy bombing be better than strafing? Well, I mean, for me, I guess it's the, I'm just thinking mostly about the the damage value. Same. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, true. heavy bombing is a, sing a single target. Strafing is a uh, oh, okay. it's a linear. A, a linear. <laughs> I'm just I'm, for a little bit more uh, money. I think it's just going to get us more targets. Um, so that's that's my fantasy, is that we have two sort of linear strikes that yep. generate a significant amount of the total damage we're required to do contractually. Yep. Um, and then we come in, clean up the rest, and get out. Okay. You get 10, um, each strafe is 10 inches long. Okay, so this is incredible. Oh, yeah, because once the map is out, we can just determine where the, mm -hmm. uh, where the lines are, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right here. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna tap on the tap on the screen, uh, talk to Burnout about what um, you know what what we want to see in the in the uh, uh, in the bombs in mm -hmm. the bomb slots, and uh, and then I'm gonna turn on the light that says it's time to get into your mech. Okay. And you see Zigzag running for for the mongrel. Nope. No no no. <laughs> No, I can I can drive it. Here, so so when she when she got done when she got done uh, doing all of this, like that was on day one. What's she like on day seven of the trip? So uh, it's still just maneuvering. There's yeah. no weapons. Training. Yeah, 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 exactly. But, yeah, but now she may, she might be inside something that looks more like a mech. Yes. Um, I mean so, yeah. she, so she's playing with different weight classes and things mm -hmm. like that. It's still just maneuvers. Yeah, not, yeah. Not, no, no weapons training just yet. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, I say, ZZ, hold up. Hold up. Thank you. This is why we have you in the sim. Yeah, but I'm, I'll be fine. Just put me in a mech. You don't have, I'm, I'm you, ready to go. you have never fired even a simulated weapon. Uh, I, I believe you forget I fired a pistol. Uh, I know. I, these are not these are not pistols. The, what is a pistol? The streaks. What is a what is a, a long range missile but a longer pistol? Well, I, I say first, and then I direct her attention up to the arms of the Nova, and I say, well, first, uh, there's six of them on each hand. I just say that's six long pistols. So this is like trying, this is like trying to like really decide, determine what a sandwich is. <laughs> I say, I, I love the hustle, kid, but, and I, I, I will put you downside, but not this time. Fine. She walks away. He says, "You're gonna regret this." I feel a slight cold breeze waft through. <laughs> Waft through the the belly uh, of the of the vessel, and uh, just involuntarily shiver, uh, and I say, "Rashawn," and then uh, I'm I'm heading down and getting ready to okay. I'm, I'm getting up in the mongrel. Okay. <laughs> uh, Rashawn just follows the uh, starvin down okay. and uh, gets mounts up. Inside of the Samira, etc. All right, and you just hear over the the comm system from Burnout, Commander, we're ready, ready to drop down. Hit it. Good. External camera engaged.
All right. So. Okay. Two for 10 inches. Now let's talk about what you have to do. You, your objective is to destroy 50% of this facility. Uh, facility. Now there are four <coughs> main big buildings. Mm -hmm. And there are each smaller building counts. You have to do two to equal a large one. Okay. And we need to do 50% total. So basically these are, these buildings are worth two. What, what, what's the? Two to one. Yeah, yeah. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Gotcha. All right. So what do you think would be a good investment of our 10 inch scenario, Keek? It seems to me like, uh, so is this one? Yeah. Okay. So they're all connected in some that's, way. That's a, that's only, ha that's one small structure. Gotcha. You need two mm -hmm. um, to do so. Um, well, I mean, it seems like there's a really nice, a really nice play here. Mm -hmm. Right? That seems quite clean to me. So one bombing run here would, I think, deliver real results. Uh, what do we think about trying to soften up a larger target on these middle two? Those two. Right? Like these two right here? No. One in the corner. Soften up two big ones. Yep, yep. Because this is, is this considered big? This is a small one. Okay. The, this is it. These two are big. Those two are big. Okay. Well, this is obviously the right Pretty one. Large. Just and then if we and then if we hit these things with bombs, and then we u maybe use these things with cover or something like that, or get these fucked up. Also, we can talk about how running through buildings work. I was just going to say, I suspected that part of this scenario is uh, educational in nature. Yeah. So you, for every one inch you move through a building, it does one point of damage. If the if you destroy the building. When you're in it. When you're in it, you will take damage back. Yes. But not until But, but so. mechs don't take damage from running through no. them. You can also be inside of a building Firing and have out? cover. Oh. You can garrison uh -huh. with your mech? Yep. But know that if they collapse a building, if some if another mech shoots the building, collapses on top of you. Yes. You were going but the to same thing is true in the inverse. Yep. If somebody is using a building as cover from us, mm -hmm. to, to, they, are they granted cover yeah. for being inside the building? Yeah. Oh boy. But the same thing applies to them as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, those are our two strafing runs. These, these three buildings here, and then those two large buildings there. Okay, so you're gonna, the first one will go off at the beginning before you jump out. Yeah. Then the second one will take place later in the turn sequence. Perfect. I'm going to keep this, this plaque at the ready. Okay, roll for initiative. Yeah, here it comes. You know what? I've been away, and I've recharged. <gasps> Obviously, I'm here to I'm here to drop real but science, real skills. You've recharged your your ding dong. My, my but dice it's skills. Here. I mean, I must have been to twenty shrines. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, eight is not terrible. It'll be to seven. Okay. So, um, you don't see anything at first. Yeah, yeah. So, it is your move. Absolutely. Well, the, so the first thing is that the first thing that's going to happen is that those two buildings get bombed. Okay. So, for this... You have a target base number of seven. Mm -hmm. And so we, do we roll that on each building? Yep. Okay. And they, and this thing does kind of pack a punch. Uh, it does two points of damage each. Mm -hmm. So it might be a nice, it's a zesty way to do it. So seven, this is what we're looking for. Seven. <laughs> okay. So the Calypso flies over the first structure and you see it do uh, drop uh, a cannonade on top of this and it's actually more explosive than you than oh, was, you I was just going to say, this so was you, Kiko's plan the whole time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. these, are, mm -hmm. these are precursors for explosives or mm -hmm. final products. Uh, so next building. Yep. Six. Now, do I want to spend? Is it worth it to soften that thing up a front? Yeah. I'm going to use my plaque okay. to make that a seven. And then we'll, we'll hit that other, we'll hit that second heavy building. Okay. Um, and then it's our, it's, our, it's our plan to basically step into the open air 
right off of the Calypso. And then round two, we'll have Burnout hit this vector okay. on the other side. So where are you dropping down out of I mean, the Calypso? I, I feel like being over there close to finish those buildings off because they're so high value. We don't know what the blast radio radius would be. Yeah, I mean, I guess that is true. And uh, we've got plenty of range. Yeah, yeah. So do you want to... Uh, the truth is, yeah, we have really long, like solid long range things and they're buildings. My guess is, so is fighting a building hard? No, you just fire into it. Yeah, right. But, but And they're stationary. So, right? Yeah. You, I mean, the same modifiers apply, but it's just a stationary target. There's no... T it's just your skill yeah right? oh now because of the way forests work yep. in alpha strike mm -hmm. is this whole thing a that's forest a, yeah that's a forest area i mean here we go mm -hmm. we land in this area we, we we that he drops he wheels over here mm -hmm. and then i think we drop right into this foot this forest okay and then we'll use this forest to clean up uh the big buildings because it sounds like they are uh a, a little more uh explosive perhaps than the norm mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll drop right over here, right out of the Calypso. Okay, combat, uh, yeah. Combat's yours, so. Does that count as a jump? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's start with Samira. Mm -hmm. So with the combat drop, that's plus two, right? Mm -hmm. So it's, yep, my three. So three. you're you're start at three. Uh -huh. Your jumping is uh, two. plus two. Mm -hmm. So you're at six. Uh, the target is um, stationary. stationary, so it's negative or immobile, so mm -hmm. negative four. So you're at two. Um, okay. And you have a medium range. I would assume that's yes. medium range. Yep, it is. Yeah. So two. So two. So you're at four. Okay. Hit. <laughs> well, there's uh, no guarantees. One, the the one that looked more explodey than the yeah. Other. And how many <laughs> points? Uh, that is five. Uh, okay. All right. And this, um, the mongrel has long range reach out and touch somebody potential, um, but that's within my medium range as well. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, that also has the sort of lasers, I suspect, in okay. there as well. So you have a four. You started with a four, plus two is six, mm -hmm. minus four is two. Mm -hmm. And then um, medium range? Medium range is two, so four up. All right. Or no, you started with five. A five, five. <laughs> <laughs> God, I have returned. And how much damage? With blessings, four. And you see this building explode. <laughs> yeah, so things, things are happening fast here. Uh, is there any collateral on the next on the building close to it? <laughs> no, you don't. You, you don't. You don't think so. Okay. Um, let's, let's, but it, it just implodes. Let's hope they're connected yeah. by an underground tunnel. It's yeah. wicking the flame. Yeah. Uh, to the next one. All right. right. So, th so things start off with a bang. This is what we're looking for. Yep. We're looking to startle the foe. And it seven, nine. nine. It's a very fast building. Yes. Yeah, yeah, this building's coming after us, Kiko. All right. So here we go. Um, yeah, so they, they'll materialize somebody. So we have our moves. I think we're fine. Yeah, I mean, I, so I think, I think that we probably just continue to... Yeah. Well, we should move just so there's some defense. Well, no, so, so that we, so that we <laughs> yeah. get our... We, we, we want to move so we get our TMM at least, yeah. right? Yeah, so we, I think we just scoot over this way and... Start doing that, and then maybe I mean, we destroy this. Maybe we pop this on our way out, or something like yeah. that. Okay, let's get it. Uh, is it straight for round number two? Yep. yep. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And then, but we won't be close to the target. Thank God. So I'm going to move over here to be with Keek, and also gain my TMM, which is the mongrel is very, very hard to hit when it's moved, right? Um, and then strafing run over here for number two, right? Not yet. Oh no! Oh. Battle mechs here. You see, um, you can easily see three mechs coming in. Okay. Uh, one will jump up to here. I hate those guys. 
he's 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 gonna get it. We're just gonna put an end to that right now. I don't want him getting around. This is a this is a very sensitive region back here. Warhawk comes in, and the Warhammer will move in as well. Okay, now uh, it's shoots. Uh, your strafing run will go off. Yes. Where are you so, going to fire it? Uh, the the ten inch scenario that we crave mm -hmm. is actually here. Okay. So it starts here and ends here. Okay. So we should be able to catch three targets if things go well. Yep. All right. So let's start with the smaller outbuildings, if you will. Yep. Ten. Can put two on it. Yep. Uh, then uh, we attack Germany, <laughs> I guess. Seven. Nine. Twang links. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's happening. Oh. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I, got, has, I got Germany. I got Germany. I got, it I has got, troubling I got, connotations. I got Deutschland from it. It's, yeah, I was, I was pulling kind of a Deutschland. It was yeah. giving Deutschland. Yeah. Um, uh, and then the ball. Eight! Kigo! <clears throat> okay. So that caught that 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 hot it up, as they say. Yeah. Um all right. you get to shoot first now. Exactly. Uh you wanna you wanna start out, Keek? Yeah. Uh go for the building, see if we can <laughs> Yeah, you see, see, see <laughs> if we can clean up. damage well, on no, that dude, little guy. Exactly. If this motherfucker is on this thing when it blows up, even if he falls off, it's gonna be bad news. So is this another two, or do I take a penalty for my TMM? Uh, you take uh, uh, for your movement. For yeah. your movement, yeah. You uh, no the ground movement's uh, zero. Okay. So, so three um, zero mm -hmm. Im immobile. Um, so that's negative one technically. Mm -hmm. um, Is it auto hit? Yeah, it auto hits because you only got a plus two for medium. Okay, so it's five damage. <laughs> it's just everything streaks out of these woods. You see the. <laughs> The building crumble and the wasp uh, on top of it um, fall into the into the rubble into the, <laughs> into the fire. Okay, so so I go next. Mm -hmm. Should we? Should I try to clean up this wasp, or should I try to put some we need dice? To play, we need to play objective. Okay, so we're gonna start immediately shooting on the. Damn it, I guess. So you're like in my way though, right? I can shoot that. Yeah, shoot that. Yep. So that's medium range. Mm -hmm. um, my to hit on these is four, I think, right? Uh, At a, on a medium range building? Yeah, it's going to be uh, four, four to start, negative four, so zero. Actually, it's just two. Okay. Well, then I'm going to I'm going to unload four points on the yeah. ball. Because they're buildings. It blows up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, tell Bur tell Burnout to keep it keep the engines hot. We'll be done in no time. I think he's got something nice. Yeah. You know what would be shocking is if they. What would be shocking is if they started attacking the buildings also. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, okay. It's, it's, it's just. It would be a different scenario than we thought. I think that'd be really cool. Yeah, David, I don't know where these rolls are coming from, except for, you know, Japan. <laughs> Sent all the way over. Imported. Yeah. All right. Uh, the Warhawk is, is firing off at you. It um, starts at a four. Okay. You didn't, you moved. So yeah, what's yeah, the TMM? Uh, who? Of uh, Roshan. Two. Two. And then so one six. for the forest. Seven and nine total. Yeah, for medium range. Yep. Nine. This motherfucker <laughs> still got it. Uh, as you take five points of damage. Okay. Wow. Warhawk. And one heat. Intense. As its energy beam is blast through your cores. Okay. And uh, Warhammer. Warhammer is. He have a shot on Roshan. 
He might not have one on Roshan. Not Roshan, I mean uh, the mongrel. On the, uh, on the, on the mongrel, oh, yeah. yeah. Easily. Oh, yeah, for sure. I, I, I was going to shoot him, so I, I feel confident that he's got it. Can you give me a range on that? Is that still medium? Absolutely, yeah. This is medium for sure. 24. Actually, I better check. Yeah. We're, like, yeah. weirdly... Close. Oh, yeah. No, we're right at 24. You're totally fine. Okay. So, four plus... What TMM is your is, TMM? TMM is three. Seven plus one for... Uh, forest is eight and plus two, so we're looking for a ten. ten. I wouldn't put it past you. No, six. 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 Nothing. Nothing comes off. Um, and the wasp is still. Uh, you see it coming out of the rubble, merge, but it can't <laughs> shoot right now. Yeah, but it, but look at this. Look at this BattleTech buddy movie we have going on here yeah. on the screen. Like they're sort of like back to back. Yeah. This is the poster, right? Um, all right. So, I mean, next round, it sounds yeah. like. Mm -hmm. We just got to keep working. So, two big buildings gone. Yep. So one small building. You're at 25% already. Yeah. We're just going to keep We're going. A little, little bit over yeah. 27%. We come over here. I think we got mega cover, all the cover we want, and we just unload on these central buildings, right? Or the one you're standing or right the, in front of. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I know about the close one for sure. <laughs> for now, this might be best as cover. Totally. Yeah. Right? Um, all right, so initiative. Or... Okay. All right. Whoa. Seven. Seven. Four. Okay. They lose the initiative. All right, dorks. Yeah, I think it was fifth edition. Uh, I, I've definitely played games that have pointers as the... that use laser pointers as the... Um, LOS thing. Mm. All right, so here comes the Warhammer. Warhammer's moved up. Oh, everybody else likes everybody else likes their No, it's back and forth, remember? Oh, that's right. The mad cat rumbles through the trees. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I am going to be, I am literally just going to back up uh -huh. and put myself right behind the building. Okay. And with 14 inches of movement, yeah, you can easily it's, do that. it is very conceivable. <clears throat> you start blasting that thing, I'll yeah, clean these Exactly up. right. Oh, yeah. You've got, you got this in, you've got this in the bag at medium range. Okay. He does not have a shot. If you wasp, oh, I can't. No, he can't get a shot off on there. There's nothing there for him. Warhawk, I think, is but real. The clean. Warhawk definitely has a shot on Roshan. So that is four plus team of, of two. two, six, seven, eight, nine. Because is that? Can you give me a measurement? Medium? That's probably twenty. Actually, let's let's check real it's quick. It's close. It's got to be close. Yeah, you had the ranges on those really well dialed in. It's still within twenty-four. Okay. So and nine. one for cover. Yep. Yep. Nine point. Coming in eight. No. Nothing hits. <sighs> Just like straight through the forest. Yep. Like it has to do those things like when the lightning strike hits a tree where the tree just explodes. Yeah. There's no fire. It just it vapor evaporates the water inside the tree. Um and then is is that all your shots? Yeah, nobody else can get Okay, here, then it's time to open up on this bad boy. Okay. And it sounds like if I'm if I'm as close as I am, these are auto hits. Yeah. Shooting a building, right? Pretty much. Uh, so that's four points for him. Okay. Uh, so I'll finish this off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so five, I guess. Or do? Uh, are they auto hits? Do we need to? I, I think the, I out? think it's an auto hit okay. at this point because it's a mobile. <clears throat> yeah. Just taking the place apart. Just okay. wreckage. All right, initiative, I guess. These are fast rounds. Nine. Six. <laughs> Shit. I'm telling you, these dice is hot. Uh, well, welcome aboard, take 20. Mm. 
you, that's the fun, that's the funnest part about the hex tech terrain <laughs> yep. is that the, the mechs can just like peek in to the hex base. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he's coming. Oh, it's so cool when they can run on the roads and shit. Um, I always love the urban missions best. Now that's, that's a wicked maneuver, Kiko. Because as we know in the rules, if he is completely on the other side of the forest, there's no shots there's no of any shot kind. And I'm gonna Six do... inches is actually the number. Yeah. If you get... So this is exactly what I'm gonna do over here. I'm gonna stay within short range, but I am gonna escape to the other side of the forest, okay. occluding uh, the opponent. This game is so cool. <laughs> like, this is ridiculous. I'm so glad it's real. And of course, he's just gonna jump right up on there. <laughs> yeah, I got something Not for the you. Same guy. Yeah, it's the same guy. Yeah, he does. He does brisk work. Yeah. Everybody needs one of these guys. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so there's no line of sight on e any of those. Yeah, we we backed we again the the Mecca Buddy movie continues. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it's your shot. Yeah, I unload four more points into this building. Okay, and another five over here. Downed, and they're down. So this flip? Yep. One, two, three, four. It does. So you have achieved your mission. You've already destroyed fifty percent of this of this town. <laughs> should should we, should we just have him have him have him pull it around over here? Yes. Like it's a situation where we like use the jump jets to get into the ship and leave. Does, I want to try it. Does the Mad Cat or the Timberwolf have jump jets? It does not. You can't do it then. Yeah, <laughs> I can't. I'll hold on to you. Um, <laughs> it'll be it'll be romantic. Yeah. It'll be like a Superman and Lois thing. Uh, yeah. Um, okay, yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna have to land. But if we can have him, if we can, I, I say, I say, burnout. Uh, I need you to, I need you to hit the ground. Okay. Now, so I'll have him, I'll have him bring the calypso right here, on the other side of the forest, and then like as he's coming down, Why I think. Can't you use the road? Oh, the road, yeah. <laughs> the road is so good. I'm just trying to give it. I'm just trying, I want it to be as long as possible. So, um, so, but I will definitely, I, as he's coming down, I definitely want to try to put the mongrel in the open door. Roll initiative. Of course, right? <laughs> I, w I want to save as much time as possible. How about a 10? Seven. <laughs> I'm keeping it hot. Every weekend you gotta go to Japan. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I, did, I want you to know back that, on Monday. But I'm telling you, I brought a fresh victory and defense uh, amulet from the Meiji Jingu. Mm -hmm. So this, you're already seeing the results. All right, where are you moving to? I mean, I'm, I'm I, I want I, my fantasy is that he is bringing this thing down on land, and I am using the jump jets to like get in the okay, cockpit. So you're jumping into it. Yeah. So you can put put the model. Oh yeah. Yay! Now I'm surfing. We're having a great time over here. This is the best. This is the best game of all time. <clears throat> so yeah, you're, you're gonna run in. It goes back to yeah. you for mm -hmm. a bit. Mm -hmm. Just gotta get in there. Just for sight, it's easier sight line. So in yeah in. Straight well, in. put we'll put it up there. Okay. You're not in the the. They're the gonna get shot simultaneous, yeah. right? Yeah. The Masakari, or no, oh, sorry, the Warhawk and the Warhammer, right? Mm -hmm. Two wars, one great price. All right. Um, all right. <laughs> but I mean, basically, but theoretically, if we haven't actually gotten in, we're also taking shots back, right? Yes, yes. you are. This is the coolest thing that's ever occurred. All right, um, so they, we want initiative, so do we start firing? No, I they, fire they, first. You fire, right? This is gonna be interesting. Oh wait, I got the the little guy here. Yeah, bring him in. <laughs> he can run twenty miles around. Um, remember, your uh, Calypso has uh, fifteen points of health. Yeah, 
I don't want you to tell me the information like that. Um, I want you to keep that type of stuff to yourself. So uh, get that plaque ready. Get it warmed up. Okay. Yeah. So he has, he has to choose what to shoot, but they're going to shoot the Calypso. Because <laughs> they're not dumb. First, uh, Warhawk's going to shoot into the Calypso. What is the TMM of a... Of a moving jump oh, ship? It's going to be six. Or no, 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 sorry. It's going to be one, because it's giant. Oh, B. I, I forgot. It's, yep, it's so it is, it is medium. Yeah. Okay, so uh, four, uh, it has moved, so um, zero for that. Uh, or actually, hold on. Yeah. Other modifiers, airborne, yeah. Is it airborne? Is it, yeah, plus one for its, it's an airborne veto. Mm -hmm. no. it's, we're doing new stuff. Yep, okay, so two, plus two. Um, so four plus two, uh, plus one is five. It's at medium range. Yep. Mm -hmm. So seven. Okay. That's, That's an hit. eight. As a, a laser, a lance uh, yeah, of hot uh, light. Uh, yeah, hot light streaks through the side of the bay doors on the Calypso. And you just hear over the comm, what the f <laughs> Get inside! Yeah, yeah exactly. And, and, and that, that's basically how it goes. Like, I jump in and like, when, when, once it finally happens, like I jump in, fall, like hit the deck and like slide through the base. Yeah. So the Calypso has taken five points of damage. Correct. From the Warhawk. Yeah. And now, and let's so see, so now one of us shoots. Mm -hmm. I mean, these guys probably can't be killed by us right now. And even if we do any weapon damage, it doesn't really matter. So. Right. Yeah. We already won this game. For us, just for us, it's just about getting out of here. No, but if the Calypso can't take off again, then we should probably put damage on these guys. Yeah, exactly. So, 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 so let's focus. Uh, who's who gets it? You got it. I mean, I mean who? Uh, let's do the. What are we more more likely to get into crit territory? Well, this thing, this thing hurts bad. Right. But and so we need to focus on taking out components first. And yeah. is it the Warhammer? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think the Warhammer doesn't hit as hard as the as the Wolf, but it could be as the um, Warhawk. But I could be wrong. I just don't know if we can get to a crit. Oh, I see. You mean you want to burrow through the armor yeah. so that we hit? Okay, well, that, the Warhammer I think is out of the okay. two of those. I think is yeah. is the right choice. Okay. Yeah. You ready? Yep. Take it away. Uh, so it's medium range. Yeah. Yeah. He is in the woods. So that's three. Plus uh, one for woods. One for woods, two for medium range. So that is moved. six. Uh, TMM is one. Uh, one. one. So seven. Oh, seven. Sorry, yeah, one. Yep. So seven it is. Mm -hmm. Here, hold on. Let's get his filthy dice out of here. Oh, I also have one heat. Right. So it's plus one to your shot. Eight. Yep. Yep. How about eight? Woo! Eight is perfect. Eight's enough. Uh, five points. Five points. You see armor shredded off of the Warhammer. Oh. Yeah. All right. And so, so the Warhawk is fired. Now it's the Warhammer or the. The Warhammer wasp. fires back. Mm -hmm. um, at me or? Actually, at you. Okay. Mad. Um, you made him mad. Got aggro. So that is four, four plus. Team M2. Team M2, six. And two for medium, eight. Eight. Um, eight is the number. Three points uh, come firing into you. Ooh. Okay, so. It's getting low. Armor is off. Yeah, we gotta go. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna open up. I, I, I see these, these shots come back in from the ACs. I'm gonna direct all of my damage toward uh, the same Warhawk. So I started or, or the uh, Warhammer. So I started four. Mm -hmm. We're at medium range. Mm -hmm. So that's an additional two, right? Yep. Six. Mm -hmm. He is in the woods. Plus one. Plus TMM one. one. TMM one. TMM one. So eight. Yep. Okay. Let's get it. Hold on. Let me get these wicked cubes out of here. Blech. Vile. Eight. You eight. should be nine. You think? Yeah, because my weapon skills three. Yours is four. Four. So you should be nine. No, but you were hot. You're I'm not hot. Oh, I was hot. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, that, that's that's a nasty little side effect of getting shot by that thing. Anyway, we want eight, and it's, you know, that's statistically significant. 
How about 11? Fucking. <laughs> How about 11? Is that going to be fine? Is that going to be enough? Four damage. Four damage. Give me a crit. Is that that I think new that's... Jerry? <laughs> so as new me, <laughs> as the calypso takes off and, and you <laughs> slide into the, you jump into the yeah. bay. You see Roshan running in as well. The calypso takes off. You fire into the warhammer. No, like, like I'm like holding the yeah. side of the of the door. Weapons yeah. out. Um, as it as it comes up and as we're moving away. Um, it just, it, it's like, there's a point where it's like, I sort of see above the canopy of the trees and just dump it. Just it's flip every no. switch, yeah. death blossom. <laughs> you know no, what I mean? You hit the cockpit. Yeah. It just lands us directly through, I think. Yeah, it's just a, 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 a incredible spike right through when you see it come out the back. Clean, You're clean, like clean. Slick, and the Warhammer just crumbles to the ground as the Calypso glides out into orbit. Well, that, I mean, you and know. That's row one for the day. Yeah, I was just gonna say that's probably enough. That's probably where we should go. I can't keep that up. <laughs> I can't keep up. I can't roll in a 12 after I do an 11. Um, oh, uh, GYZ, I, I think Mike and I just do that because we're weird. Um, I don't think, I, I didn't see anybody else do it, and they shouldn't, because it's a weird way to act and behave. <laughs> now, um, so the Calypso is pulling out um, into orbit. Um, it, it is pulling out, but then the scene changes. <gasps> what? This is so crazy. Um, um, we can see a, uh, it's a, it's a dark room. It's lit only by uh, the light of a somewhat antique vid screen. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you can see uh, uh, a woman with gray hair dressed in the, um, the official recognized iconography of the Draconis Combine. Um, she runs her left hand through her gray hair and she is watching video footage and in this video footage, at the foot of a pouncer, she can see a tiny shape emerging from the vents on top of a building and climbing up inside of the mech. She extends and expands the view until it's very, very close. And when she sees who it is, her breath catches. That's it. All right, now the, now the game's done. I brought that back for you from Japan. Uh, wow, we had to go a little bit long for that one. Um, but holy shit, what a cool, what a cool fucking scenario! Like if we had more mechs, I guess we could have done it in one round. You know what well, I mean? Well, you did spend a lot of funds no, on the strafing runs, right? That's actually true. We did like spend that... a million dollars to soften the place up. Yeah, I for mean sure. that, that's huge. So each one of these had seven points. Yeah, they had uh, three points each. Yeah, but we 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 got in and got out with the coolest exit yet. I think. Thank I'm God it wasn't a Butch Cassidy. No, yeah. no. I, I, this well, I think your Timberwolf was getting down there, right? I, you were well, I was in the structure. structure. Yeah, yeah. We were down to the meat of that particular mech. But see, now we can pull out. And apparently the reward for this job is not, it's four million C bills. That is what it is. It well, paid a million since we spent it yeah, on I was going to say, it basically pays for our bombs. Um, but information, footage, something, um, that only you about, know about. <laughs> yes, of course, of course. So we're like, but it, what but it just seems like a bad deal. <laughs> um, but it, it, you know, I'll read the contracts. That's that's my job. Um, some kind of information about Saverin's father. So I have no, I literally have no idea. Like we haven't worked out any of that stuff. We're all we all basically play this game to have fun and delight each other, more or less. Um, so I'm super, super excited to see how that happens. See you next Tuesday. See, see you, you next, next Tuesday, Tuesday. <laughs> motherfuckers. Um, but yeah, I literally can't wait. Now, uh, we'll be back for more War Games on Thursday. Uh, I think we have... Yes. No. 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 There's a stream no. on Thursday. No, sponsor stream. Other stream. For, for Wednesday. And both Thursday, days. yeah. Hey, oh, well, I mean, obviously watch Twitter 
or yeah. the other social medias that you enjoy for who that might be. Get ready to get tantalized. Maybe even today you could find out. Although I, I guess I did retweet it earlier. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, but until next time, we'll see you next Tuesday. Peace out.